Hello and welcome to another video. Today is the second part of the power supply repair of the Sony SLV E1000. Now on the last video you saw me uh, taking the power supply out and uh, having a look at the caps and uh, we discovered that there were three bad caps in there now having a look at the actual VCR itself I have discovered that there's not really that many caps in that power, in that uh, VCR there's only a few only in the power supply section so I thought maybe I should replace all of the uh, capacitors in the power supply just because they've been sitting around for years and years and years and they may not be at their full potential so rather than going back to something like I always do like I've told you before um, I like to uh, replace all of the capacitors in the power supply not just the faulty ones now some people might disagree some people say well you're just doing extra work for nothing well, you know what, at least it's done, okay, these things are not expensive, and this is done, and then once it's done, then you know that you've, you've, you've tackled that problem. I mean, it might start up, but there may be some problem with the output, so rather than going back to it, you've got it open, so just, you know, have a look at it. So. I went down to the parts store and I bought some um, components, some capacitors. Now, what I'm going to do, before we do anything, we'll take them all and put them separate so that at least we know what is what. So I'm going to start with the can first. So, we'll start with the can first. We'll fix the can. And then we won't fit, we won't put the can back on until we actually replace all of these, mainly because it just makes it heavy. So now it's light. I can just turn it upside down without an issue. So, in the name of Allah, let's start. Just want to see what I'm doing as well. Right, so, um, I want to just move it. Okay, so that's your um, that's your can caps. <clears throat> it was actually quite a nice sunny day out there, but it's one cloudy now. <clears throat> So I'm going to keep all the 47s in one area. See Mr. Garnet is struggling a bit out there. We've got a neighbour called Mr. Garnet. And um, he likes moaning and uh, complaining and... Some of his uh, choice of language is not suitable for uh, on-air viewing, so I'm sorry if um, he comes across a bit powerful, because um, I don't edit any of this, because I just haven't got the time, I don't edit any of this, so... Um, Anything that I do just gets put straight onto the um, to the um, to YouTube. 
So I've just got to be very careful whenever I am doing something. I've got to be very careful. Um, of what I do. Right, so I put everything in, in its place. Okay, I've got three of those. Right. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to start on. Oh, one of them has escaped. This, you're not going anywhere, mate. Just putting this here so they don't escape. Right. As I mentioned before, you've always got to make sure um, you've always got to make sure the polarity is right because otherwise it'll go bang. I'm going back to work on Monday and I dread it. I really do. Because I work in retail, you see. And um, I live with elderly parents who are vulnerable to the COVID. You know, I'm really. I'm really not happy about it, to be honest with you, but that's just the way it is. What can you do? I mean, COVID's really, really affected every single one of us in in different ways you see and it's it's a, it's it's such a shame that you know we have to suffer like this you know we should always be grateful for what we have and I think that's one thing that um, a lot of people, and even myself, were not grateful for. Be grateful for what you've got. Give thanks for what you have. Oh. This one here, diameter is too big. That's not going to fit in here, is it? Damn. Let me have another look at my, um, and I know I had one in there. I mean, I bought it when the guy was giving it to me, but um, it's 
think this is the same sort of idea, isn't it? I think this is the same pitch. This is far, far too big. It's not going to go in there. I think what I'll have to see is whether this is going to go into here or not. So that's the way it does. It probably will, to be honest with you. And then this goes on there, okay. And then um, this will obviously go in here, will it? It's very tight. Yeah, that's 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 gonna be a problem, guys. Yeah, so this this one's all right, but this one's going to be a problem. I knew this was going to be a problem when the guy was giving it to me. So um, we'll have to find a three thousand three hundred mic cap that's got a better pitch because this is too wide. It's not going to. It's not going to go on there. Alright, what a shame. Okay, so what we will do in that case... Is this the same pitch? Yeah, it's the same pitch, isn't it? I think I did have... Um, Wait a minute. Because what we can do then is we can recap the power supply caps themselves and I can leave that one out. That's just one. You see. I've got another power supply here which I was repairing. And I stopped because I again couldn't get the right caps. Um, If I, I don't even remember what I've done on here. Well, I haven't got anything on here to be honest with you. No, I haven't got anything on here. Okay, so what we'll probably do then is we'll um, replace what we have It's a bit of a bummer
yeah, the pitch is different, isn't it? Right, okay, so let's put this one into the uh, meter and see whether... Um, what the meter says. Okay. 3,000... 2.1... It's actually quite good, this one here. Hmm, interesting. This is not really bad. This is not actually bad. I mean, this one is. The 2200 is bad. Let's have a look there. Well, it was bad yesterday. Yeah, that, that, that is low. It should be 2,200. It's going to be coming up 1,595 microfarad. And uh, ESR is 1.6. So basically it's lost its capacitance slightly. So what we'll do in that case, we'll put in whatever we have. We'll carry on doing whatever we, we're doing over there. And we'll leave this one out for now. Because um, I have to find okay, okay, all right. If I put it in the right way, practice what you preach, I'm here. Okay, so now we'll put the one microfarad in. Okay, so that's our can done. Um, I will have a look at to see whether I'll have a, um, a 3,300 microfarad cap, which is like a better pitch. But um, we'll just have to see now. So now what we'll do, we'll move on to the main board. Obviously I can't close this now because 
I'm a one cap down. I can replay I can put the original cap back in, but I mean the amount of work you'll have to get to do just to get out that one cap out, I might as well just um um try and find the right one. Right. This one shouldn't be too difficult. Forty seven at sixteen. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lay this down because um, I don't suppose there's anything in there, but um, Let me just have a quick look at where this is and if there's anything that's No. There's absolutely no reason for me not, you know, to do any special treatment to this. Next, it's a 220, which is just here. So it's uh, that one here. Okay, so this is a, a two twenty at sixteen. That two twenty. Yeah. It's the one there.
Right, we've got 22 mic. It's right beside it. Let's just bend this off slightly there. 22 mic. You've got to be very careful here because we've got a surface mounted transistor on there. It's the only surface mounted transistor on the whole board. We might need to touch up the connections on this regulator as well. Whether it's a regulator or a uh, transistor, I don't know. Yeah, some of them have been leaking. Twenty two mic. <clears throat> twenty two at twenty five. Right, so the next one is, where are we? Okay, so we're going to have a look at the 470. 470 mic, C121. Mr Garnet was really screaming earlier on, wasn't he? Really screaming. I think some... People should have a little bit of patience in their lives because, you know, moaning and groaning and swearing and, you know, there's not any particular need for it, you see. There's no need for it. It's against any religion, you know. You know, to foul mouth. Your fellow human beings. I mean, I've never done that in my life. I've always been truthful, polite, caring. Okay, now we've got the 1000 microfarad 10 volt. <laughs> 
We have a uh, next door neighbour called Mrs. Ferruccia. Very, very well established human being who lives in our area. She became a priest, then she became a, um, a bishop, then an archbishop, and now she's become a cardinal. Just amazing how people can just, you know, become so highly recognised in such a short amount of time, get such a high position. And I think what it is, it's, it's more to do with your character. You know, I mean, it, it's, you know, you, you're not going to get a reward if you are nasty, if you disrespect people, if you're swearing all the time, you'll be just left in the corner. You know, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, some people do. But, you know, you should always be nice, caring, kind to people. You know, because otherwise, you know, life, you know, what, what's the meaning of life? You've got to respect your human being, respect yourself first. I mean, people who do this kind of thing, they don't respect themselves. And that's why they, 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 they act the way they do, because they don't respect themselves. So how can they respect others? Right, so now we're getting, getting to um, 47. Some of these um, connections on here are really bad. So that's your 47 at 10. See, Mr. Garnet is coming back. I will introduce you one day to Mr. Garnet. He's alright, but you've got to make sure you don't cross the line. And believe me, his line is very thin. I just ignore people like that, to be honest with you. I have no time for people like that. I really don't. Well, we're going into the 3.30s now. It's getting a little bit tight round here now. So it's these two. Uh, what number is it? C162 is it? C162? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one.
Oh, 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 ah. One of them's escaped, look. Where's it gone? Okay. I'll have to go and pick that up in a minute. Keep this here just in case I need it. Again. Right, we where were we? Oh, not again. Come on, man. Behave yourselves. I might have to solder suck this out because it's um, it's, it's in such a um, Have a look, see where I can solder suck this out. Yeah. Here we are, that should come up now. There we are. So, 330 at 6.3 volts. I'll tell you what, what I'll do is I'll actually get rid of the other one as well, so we can do both together. That's 3.30 at 10. Mm. Okay, so 171, probably this one here, these two, probably these two. Right, okay, let me have a look, see where I can do them both together. So that we don't have to worry about um one seven one. Then we can just pull them out, you see. Oh yes. Got it. So now, with a bit of luck, this should wiggle its way out. There you go. So we can actually do these two together. 
save us a bit of time as well. pitch on these are really really bad they're really they're, they're far too big they're far too big for the to put this um, arrangement of circuitry Okay, so what I have to do is I have to look in my uh, spares again and see whether I've got any uh, any caps which are um, of a better pitch because they're far too big and they're resting on other components. So what I'll do is I'll. Yeah, they're, they're, they're resting on other components, and that's not really professional.
Okay, so I'll leave them there because they're new. So, um... Okay, so C162 and C171 are 330 mic caps, which I'll have to find um, a better pitch because they're they're far too wide and they're resting on other components. Anyway, it's a good thing I did that. Okay, so now we've got the 22 mic again. Okay, so this is a 22 mic. Yeah, 22 mic. Okay, so that's the 22 mic. Let's get this one out while we're at it, which is the 16, uh, 100 microfarad 16 volt, because I can just get to it. Let's see, we can do two in one go. Well, last time I did that. Right, so 22. And... Is that the 100? Yeah, that's the 100. So that's possibly this one here. Yep. Okay. 
Jesus. That isn't soldered very well. bit of a perfectionist so I like to do things properly. So now we've got just a few left really, one, two, three, six left. So let's do the 22 mic again. So we've got another 22 mic here. Yeah, this is the one that got away, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say that the video might end because I've got a limit of one hour so what I'm going to do I'm going to recap the rest of them and if the video does end I'll carry on talking if the video does end then thank you very much for watching and I'll recap everything and what we will do is in the next video we'll once I find all the caps I'll recap those and then we'll um, We'll put everything back in, in the next video, and we'll install the power supply in the VCR, and hopefully we should get some power. But, as I'm saying, thanks for watching at the moment, because the video might end. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But, it has done that to me before, so, I've got a limit of one hour. That's done. Um, Forty seven. Okay. 
And I'm really hungry today. I didn't get much breakfast done. Forty-seven. 